Brent went to the chiropractor yesterday because he's lifting too many heavy bags. So he's compromising and lifting heavy bags. Perfect. Great day for spray. What's up guys, a new day. It is Saturday. I had my first sleep in today in months. Just came in off the headland here, just drove in the field a few feet. No word of a lie. This is what we were having a heck of a time with last year. So I noticed this, I just kind of scanned the ground, saw this clip plant and a clear sign of a cut worm. So I thought I'd just get out and dig around and see if I could find it. This was just laying here like this and I just picked it up. And there's the cut worm. Just hanging out, not moving at all. Usually they roll up into a ball. He's kind of slow to do anything. I want to say that that lumiderm is doing his trick. That seed treatment is supposed to kill these guys and flea beetles. And I don't think this guy will be doing much. I'm going to take him in the truck and see if he comes alive. This is good news when they're dying. Yeah, this is a pretty, I guess, a pretty average stand. I don't know if you can see this or not, but we have uh, canola's starting to row up here. Um, I just pulled this one out. It wasn't very deep. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see there's a good amount of plants. They're starting to kick out a, a first leaf, which is means it's coming along. But then there's also plants that are just coming out of the ground. Um, see, that's the first leaf there. So, and the trouble we're having is uh, you dig down a little bit. Oh, I just dug up another one. <laughs> Shit. Um, it's, it's hard. It's hard packed ground. Like it's almost like it's sealed itself a little bit and it just needs that rain to loosen that back off. I, I don't think we'd have this big of a crusting issue if we had enough organic matter right there in that top inch, but that's just what we're dealing with this year. That rain would probably come down and loosen that right off and let all those plants come through that are kind of crusted down. But I actually just the last three days, things have come along really, really quite a lot. Um, and I'm actually happy about this. Um, See, there's some new plants coming just there so there's more more and more plants coming every day they are a little stagey um that's just what we're dealing with this year i mean we were going into moisture but we got a pounding rain the next day with this field and uh, it was a little soft anyways so this those packers just see it's just dusty but if we get that rain she'll be off and running Lift it up, Brian. Oh. Is that it? Keep going. Oh, perfect. That's it. All right, we're going to load up some water tanks in here, get her all cleaned out. Dig her for a bath so we can start spraying. This is what we're going to tender the sprayer with. Oh, what? Yeah, might be all right. I don't know. day using our fair share of baby powder a couple of minidosa boys also picking up a tank we saw the tank we were gonna pick up some like 1250 gallons and they kind of stand upright and they're round like a cylinder uh, but these guys got like a kind of a they're like 2500 gallons and they're longer and we like the way that looked and I think we might have to get that just because the way our box is formed um, but the guys here at co-op said that's gonna take like two hours. They just, that was their last one they sold 
two hours before the new truck comes in with all the new tanks. So we're like, oh God. And then the truck just showed up on two hours early. This day is just coming together so nice. So we'll get this loaded. We'll head back to town, fill it up, and we'll uh, hook up to the sprayer and get it all working right. And we'll be ready for spraying. Wild oats are coming up like a madman on some new rented ground, so we have to get those sprayed on our wheat. Is it gonna fit, guys? Oh, beautiful. Look at how beauty that truck is now, just clean as a whistle. Come on Brent, use those muscles. Yeah, that silage gate worked really nicely. Push it to the front. I think we should have about six feet of extra space for pumps and hoses and cam and stuff. So, man, this could be really nice. You can just lift that up, load it with cam. Man. Bunch of professionals here. No. Sign your life away, Brent. Got a pump. Thanks, Donovan. Still gotta fasten down the pump. We gotta cut this hose to length for an input and an output. And uh, should be good to go. It just rained. So we won't be spraying for a day or so. Pretty wet out there yet. Got an inch of rain on the weekend. But we are ready. There's about two, 23, 2400 gallons. So should be pretty nice. Let's see how she runs, Brent. Start her up. <laughs> Pump it. Oh. So we're gonna fill it halfway up, three quarters, put some flush in it, uh, ammonia to Make sure we clean the tank out from excess residue of anything else that might be in there and then we'll run it through the booms to clean it out. And then we'll uh, be ready for spraying. We'll test her out, make sure it works. We don't have a fancy mix mate, so got a dumper in the top, old school. What are you looking at? Oh, it's a leak. It's a great day for spraying, you guys. It's a little bit windy. We'll be all right. We'll just spray the neighbors too. Save them a bit of money. What are we using? Stellar. That's for our broadleaf herbicide in our wheat. Axial is for the grassy weed control. Wild oats are coming up pretty strong on some new rented ground, so we gotta get that on there. We didn't get that Avidex on, that granular stuff for the wild oats. So we gotta get out there earlier than I would've liked. They're calling for cooler temps later in the week, so we wanna get this on as soon as we can so the plants can metabolize it and stress less. There's a man who knows what he wants. Nice. What do you think of our setup? Little, little mangled, but it'll work. Well, the weed's a little on the early side. You can see right through to the ground. If you'd like it to be a little bit more advanced than this, a little bit later stage. Uh, 
But there are some thick patches of wild oats. You can kind of, I don't know if you can see, you can't really tell, but it's a lot greener between the rows. So that's what we're targeting here. Trying to get them before they get out of hand. It's a little breezy, but we're only spraying about 18, maybe 20 inches off the ground. So it's blasting it right to the ground. There might be a little bit of vapor going in the air, but it's only, it's not that too crazy windy out, but. Yeah, those wild oats, and there's a lot of volunteer canola here. This uh, field is blowing pretty bad. This is some rented land we picked up, so trying to clean her up. Only going six mile an hour. So these tips can handle, and I wouldn't want to put this sprayer through much more than that. It, these booms are riding right on the ground, and we already hit a goddamn tree last night. Had to weld her up. That's my mistake. Operator error, not the sprayer. The sprayer's actually working not bad. We did put a crappy load of water in here. There was some sand in it, so we've been dealing with plugged runs all day, but it seems to be going smoother now. <laughs> So I got done spraying the quarter I was on, pull up to the fuel tanks here to fill her up. And hear a hissing when I open the door. It's damn tire. It's got a crack in the sidewall. I can see it, I can hear it, I can feel it. We just had one of the other tires change for the exact same thing. They couldn't repair it, because it was already a crack that had been repaired before, I guess. And so we're gonna see, we put a Samson on the last one, because it's cheaper. They came out of Edmonton, so a couple of days wait. But just phoned the tire guy, and they said there's none in stock, and those Samsons come from China. We probably won't wait around for that. We'll get something else. But it's Friday at four o'clock. Just my luck, you guys. You know what I get sick and tired of? Leaky ass hydraulics. This hose here blew. So I'm fixing it. You guys, stay it open for me. So I just gotta put it back on. I'm gonna run it through and then find the spot underneath here. Oh God, it's, I'll show you actually. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that. It's inside there and gotta get up into a really weird spot, but Friday afternoon. Oh, and I should mention, you know how we got a crack in the sidewall of that one tire? And they got it fixed, had to order a new tire, but the new Rosa tire guys are back again because the exact same thing happened to a front outside duel. But it was fixable, so that should get us going. Good thing they said they said they would come out if Brent stuck around to help. This is Friday at it's like almost six o'clock, so. That's some good service, Minidosa Tire guys. What tire? Integra Tire Minidosa. Check them out. Hurry up, fill her up, Brent. Harvest is coming, boy. Done. The floater finished. Doing a little off road in there. Hey, boy. Got to finish up the wheat yesterday, just rinsing her out. Not too terribly windy. It's supposed to be hot. I'm gonna go spray our Liberty Canola Acres because it's hot and that's good. Liberty and Centurion going on. Just got a half section of, or I guess 250 acres of that. So not enough, not really that much, but gotta make sure she's clean. Don't wanna kill anything we don't wanna kill. So we pumped some ammonia and a full tank of water through this and now this is uh, 
This is just straight water. So that should get her, uh, get her good and clean. Filling up again! 